Oh, great. Oh, it's the ghost deer. I assume it's the end of the uh, episode. It's a downer. Is the implication that Nathan's doing it, or is it his father? Like, that's the question. And also, what, what are we going to do to them all? I hope something very bad. Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Let's fucking kill this kid. I'm on board. We both get a gun. It's gonna turn to a shooter. Oh shit! This is like that eclipse. You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too much. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <sighs> Vortex Club party. I didn't think you wanted to be a member. 
Screw that. I'm here for the job. Okay. Do you notice anything unusual about the Vortex Pub tonight? Yeah, I notice they don't give a shit about Kate Marsh. I'm glad for the job, but I think Principal Wells should have canceled the party. Guess I'm not cool enough. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Oh, well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. All right. Let's go. I love this song. This is at the pool. Great. Might be the most video games fucking thing that's ever happened in this game. Sure says Milady with Have a hat tip. Nathan Fuck Fox this guy. Tonight? No, I've been hanging with Brooke since I got here. Max, are you okay? Oh my god. Your face looks so serious. Uh, I know. I'm I'm not in party mode tonight. You look like you're on a secret mission. This is where it's going to end. For Rachel's sake. Well, if you want to hang out with Brooke and me, we're here for you. Thanks, Daniel. I, I have to stay on my mission now. I hope you stay on yours and become a great artist. Well, I'll be celebrating someday in a museum, Max. Adios. Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub and his club. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex. But now I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? No, but we're going to map out our drive-in date later. I was just talking to Daniel about a road trip next week to the Portland Art Museum. Oh, that is so cool. He needs a friend. I bet Daniel will be a great museum guy. I'm more into science than art, but what kind of a selfish fangirl would miss a Miyazaki exhibition? You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. But so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. No right. one seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Hey, Alyssa. We talk? Good luck. Okay. Let's 
Let's get the hell out of here. We go through the store. Okay, yes. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? I don't give a shit about being a member. I just want to talk Victoria to Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Well, let's go this way. If I get sick now, I can drink one oh, later. God, my stomach. Hello? Can you please hurl and flush already? Yes, you've been vomiting for like an hour. Yo, maximum overdrive. About time you got here to save this lame rave. Oh, you get ripped? Uh, no. You look pretty ripped already, Justin and not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Just not with me. So yes, this party sucks. You're obviously not cool with Trevor dating Dana. I tried to front like I was. When I saw them together, I came over to cry like a little Bitch. No, it's, it's more like somebody who's in pain. I'm sorry, Justin. But you're a cool, considerate guy, and you're gonna find somebody just as cool. Minus the drama. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin, and I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. Okay. Well, doesn't actually help me any. doing at a vortex club party <laughs> it really must be the end of the world <laughs> get it but seriously like what do you want i didn't want to be alone tonight after this week so i thought it'd be nice to hang out in the vip section yes it is very nice if you're in the vortex club which you're not and will never be so excuse me great plan max Time to find another way into the VIP section. Brooke, can you help me? Let's make detailed plans later, okay? I have to hit El Baño, so let's talk later, Max. Hmm. Stop that from happening. Yep. All right. Nathan 
is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. Cool. Victoria, Victoria, your picture. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry, I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, you Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you and me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Is that what you were trying to tell Mr. Jefferson last night? Uh, you saw me talking to him? Saw and heard. We were just talking about how excited he is for the Everyday Heroes contest. That doesn't mean I'm going to win or anything. I hope you win fair. We'll see. And Max? I know you don't like me either, so it's not like we have to be friends or anything. Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen, but not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him, and stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. We did it. We've saved Victoria. Look, Victoria sucks, but I don't want her to get like hurt or anything. So I'm glad this happened. Where have you been, Chloe? Uh, hello, Chloe. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I warned her. I hope she's okay. I don't care about any of these people. Let's just go. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh... Hey, Mr. Jefferson! Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. 
Uh, I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. God, this guy envelope, fucking please. sucks. <laughs> and the winner is... Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. <laughs> she is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Oh. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Yeah, Me too. No, let's go. Let's go check out the dormitories. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. What if we just kill him? Uh, that's no good. It's no good. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. All right, let's go. Apparently, these are just going to be really, uh, like, I meant this to be one episode, and now it's at 49 minutes, so these might be three episodes. And my apologies if the so last couple weeks have been really disjointed in terms of editing. Can't believe there's a whole other episode after this. This episode's crazy. You're gonna suffer, Nathan. You have to be quiet. We could die, okay? Max, please hurry. Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh, no. Well, shit. Chloe! Look out! What the fuck?
Well, shit. Fuck. Oh. Oh. Okay, except to close your quest. But most people did, huh? Most people did not let that. Chloe killed Frank. Oh, wow, that could have gone really badly. We try to believe my warning. Cool. Reported Nathan. Oh, that's just from. Um, saved the blue jay. Didn't disturb the bird's nest. I didn't even see a bird's nest. Found David's files another way. Found David's code. Oh, okay. Kate helped you. Yep. Motivated Daniel to attend. You didn't leave a message on Warren Slate. Yeah, no, I would have done that. You didn't figure out Nathan's pin code. You helped Alyssa. Yeah, of course I did. Oh. That's it. We're done. Thanks so much for watching. I don't know. I'll probably trim this recording into two episodes. They'll be like 26 minutes each. Um, next time, we begin episode five, and we reach whatever conclusion there is to be reached in this fucking game. Thanks so much for watching. Sorry things are fucked, but we'll do our best to fix it. We know our priorities. Gotta save Chloe. If we can kill Nathan, if we can kill Mr. Jefferson, we'll do that. Anyway, bye, friends.